The CS8 series is a cold shrinkable dead brake elbow with integrated low brake tap. This range taking accessory combines multiple components into one product, making installation simpler and more efficient. Each Coltrink R800 has a factory installed stainless steel fastener within its contact tube. This video covers G style fasteners only. Installation instructions vary by fastener type, and it is very important to identify the fastener type before proceeding. This video is for demonstration purposes only and should not be used in place of approved product training and installation instruction sheets. If you have any questions at all while installing our product, please contact the factory to speak with a technical expert. Begin by straightening and training cable end. Cable should be free to move approximately 2 inches in either direction. Cut cable end an inch and 3 quarters from center line of bushing. Prepare the cable according to approved techniques, following the cutback dimensions and requirements detailed in the instructions. Check dimensions carefully before proceeding. A two-scale cutback template is included in the instruction sheet booklet. Before installing the lug, make sure the spade of the lug is parallel to and aligned with the mating component. The conductor must be fully seated inside the barrel. Install either a compression or shear bolt lug with 15 16 inch threaded hole according to manufacturer's instructions. Lug must have a 15 16 inch hole. Confirm lug and hole dimension before installing lug. Confirm distance from top surface of lug to insulation cutback does not exceed 7 and 1 quarter inches. Clean the cable insulation with approved wipes or solvent, wiping from the lug end of the insulation towards the semiconductive shield. Apply supplied stress control mastic centered over edge of semiconductive shield cutback. Apply the mastic with light tension so it slightly stretches and completely wraps the cable. Apply grease over exposed insulation and stress control mastic with approved or supplied silicone grease. Install CS8 onto cable until the lug is fully seated within the housing. A cutaway view illustrates the full seated positioning of the lug spade inside the CS8 housing. Hand tighten stud fully into mating part so no threads are visible on the bushing side. If any threads are visible, confirm correct stud is being used and confirm bushing and stud are not damaged or cross-threaded. Using supplied or approved silicone grease, clean and lubricate the dead brake interface and bushing. Inspecting through the dead brake interface of the CS8, visually confirm the lug is fully seated within the housing. Insert P620AT or equivalent 516 inch hex tool through load brake interface and engage fastener. Slide fastener into forward position through lug hole. The fastener is factory installed in a retracted position and must be stroked into forward position. Once properly installed, the end of the fastener will extend into the 15 16 inch threaded lug hole. Lift up on the CS8 body to confirm that the assembly is locked with the fastener through the lug hole. Measure distance from the edge of the core to the jacket cutback. Note the measure distance. This will confirm correct positioning after mounting. Mount CS8 assembly onto mating part, lining up the hole in the lug with the stud on the mating part. Rotate tool two to three turns to start thread engagement. Drive the assembly to the full required torque of 20 to 25 foot-pounds. The Richards P620 AT tool has a built-in 20 foot-pound torque limiter. Remeasure distance from the edge of the core to the jacket cutback. Confirm this distance has not changed more than three quarters of an inch. If the cable has shifted, assembly must be redone. Contact the factory for more details. The provided shipping cap may be reinstalled on the low brake interface to keep the interface clean until a mating component is installed at a later step. Grasp the removal ring and push it against the core flange. Twist so that the cutting teeth break the tape on both sides. The core may be removed by hand. Here we demonstrate a core removal tool, which is useful in installations where space is limited. 
Insert one half of the core removal tool and pry slightly to make room for the second half. Insert the second half and bring the handles together to eject the core from the housing. Completely remove the core from the rubber housing by hand. Do not twist core while removing. Separate the core into two halves and clip any of the remaining plastic rings on the cable. Dispose of the core or recycle. Apply sealing mastic as close as possible to folded back jacket seal while maintaining complete overlap of previously applied jacket mastic. Apply grease over mastic and folded back rubber to assist in deploying jacket seal. Grab the pull tabs and pull out and down to completely deploy the jacket seal over the sealing mastic. Ensure the sealing mastic is not dislodged when unfolding the jacket seal. Install mating component on the load brake interface of the CS8 using the instructions provided with the mating component. Install a bleeder wire into one of the available grounding eyes on the CS8. Ground the metallic shield of the cable according to appropriate or approved practice. This concludes the installation video. Be sure to use the supplied instructions when installing the product. This video is for demonstration purposes only and should not be used in place of approved instructions and product training. If you have any questions, contact the factory or your local sales representative.